What's up guys? <laughs> Thank you for tuning into this video. Today is going to be the 300,000 mile update of my ship box. Should be a fun time. Let's go and get started. Alrighty, so the real changes between this update and the last update happened with the exterior. I put this dent in the bumper. I don't know if that happened before my last update, but it's there. I got some new tires, some Delta Tour RSs, which is a brand I've never heard of, and I lost the center cap when I got these new tires. But the new tires were $176 installed. <laughs> Otherwise, nothing major has happened. It's gotten some more scuffs. There's a couple scuffs in the rear bumper here where I got rear-ended by, in a crack here where I got rear-ended by a Ford Escape. No big deal. On this side is where all the real updates happened. You may not be able to see very well in the sun, but this door is black and the rest of the car is blue. And you can see the fender's all crumpled up and it's missing this trim piece here and this door is all dented up and there's this scuff here which is unrelated. This is a result of me being a Nimrod and making a lane change that resulted in a Ford Edge trying to ride shotgun. So this is a junkyard door, which fortunately bolted right up. But that unfortunately doesn't mean that means that this window doesn't work and needs a new regulator. And for a time, I had to keep the door closed with tape. I had duct tape around the pillar here and I had packing tape sealing the window closed. And because I had the tape around the A pillar, that means I couldn't open either of these doors. So this whole side of the car was a wall and I lost my one functioning back door. So that's the exterior update. <laughs> Quite a lot has actually happened since the 250,000 mile update. Now let's go drive and talk about the mechanics. Currently, as I speak to you, the odometer reads 309,564 miles. Um, it actually hit 300,000 miles back in December, but I've been a bad procrastinator. Anyway, I'm going to start this section of the video by talking about the things that currently aren't causing problems. Number one, the air conditioning. Works fantastic. Somehow. But it, it blows ice cold. Uh, number two, the engine runs just fine. No problems there. Uh, number three, um, uh, what else isn't a problem? The radio works. Um, uh, what else isn't a problem? Uh, it has new tires on it. That's not a problem. And now we get into the things that are problems, because there's a lot of them. Um, the biggest problem by a mile with this thing currently is the fact that it leaks oil. And when I say it leaks oil, I mean it freaking gushes oil at the rate of one quart per day. Like one quart in a hundred miles, it leaks out. <laughs> It leaves a puddle everywhere I park it. If I'm driving it in the rain, there's a nice trail of rainbow dots behind me. I can't park it in a customer's driveway when I'm delivering pizzas. The oil pan is half stop leak. It's real bad. Um, I It looks like the worst of it is from the main rear man seal, but it in reality, it leaks from everywhere. Every rubber gasket in this thing is totally shot. Uh, the water pump was leaking, but um, some stop leak tabs, tablets, solved that problem. It uh, currently needs a water pump and timing belt, which I'm not going to do. That The pesticide window doesn't work. It's wearing tires unevenly. It needs every single motor transmission mount replaced. What 
of the other problems. It has a lot, a lot of problems. Reality, it's just old and worn out. I have ultimately decided that I am not gonna sell this car. I will be this car's last owner. And when I have a new car and I no longer need this one, I am going to be driving it to Kegel's u pull it, which will be its final resting place. Because realistically, I can't sell this. It would take Herculean amounts of work to sort this thing out. And then what would you end up what would you end up with when you're done with all that work? You'd end up with a Honda Accord that has 300,000 miles on it with an engine that's tired and underpowered and paint that's completely shot. And that just doesn't seem worth doing. And in the condition that it's in, like the but the best I could get for it is a thousand dollars. And somebody would pay me a thousand dollars for it, and then they drive it for six months, and then it would just die. And at least with me, it'll go with dignity. So I'm not selling it. I'm going to drive it to a salvage yard, and that will be the end of this Honda Accord. If you showed it to the engineers, this car is 24 years old, has 300,000 miles on it. If you showed it to the engineers at Honda, they would look at this car and be like, yes, it's done its job. Less than 1% of cars on the road. I think it's less than half a percent of cars on the road make it to 300,000 miles on it. This thing doesn't need to go any further. It has served its purpose. It's given me three years of faithful service and however much longer I'm gonna have it, I'll probably have it for like another three months. It really is a shame too, because it still drives good. Like, it still cruises nice, especially after I put the new tires on it. It's great. But it is what it is. You know, cars get old and get worn out. Maybe hearing that wind noise that's happening, that's a result of the crumpled fender and the window that doesn't seal properly and the door that doesn't fit 100% properly. <clears throat> Sunroof still works. Most of the, everything in here still works. It's a shame. But it is what it is. What happens? And I appreciate you guys tuning in to this video. I've run out of things to say. I'll try to have some more videos for you soon. I'll try not to procrastinate as much. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.